Hey there, everybody. Anthony Maslone here. Now, today I want to show you something really cool. Obviously not outside. I'm going to take you over the shoulder in a couple of minutes because making money online doesn't happen out here. But anyways, uh, I want to show you exactly how to work with dropshippers on AliExpress. And now sometimes it can be a little tricky. Maybe you're not sure how to approach it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to go about going to these uh, shipping companies on AliExpress, making sure that they do dropship, making sure they do it properly, and exactly how to go about choosing your dropshipper. And also uh, what you're going to be saying to them because you have to cover all your bases because the last thing that you want is orders coming into your Shopify store and your dropshipper is not following through and then therefore messing up your business. So I'm going to take you over the shoulder now and we're going to go over exactly how to set up your drop shipping in your Shopify store. All right, everyone, we are now on AliExpress.com and we're going to look for the proper vendor for you in your Shopify store. So I'm going to give you an example of my own. Since I started a fitness, uh, fitness e-commerce store, I decided to start selling men's compression pants. So, these workout pants can be found everywhere on AliExpress. Now, we're going to start out looking over here for feedback. So, diamonds are good. This is all based out of five, if you weren't aware. Uh, for, you always want to look for diamonds or crowns. Crowns are better than diamonds, but diamonds are also very good. Uh, you don't want to go with vendors that just have like one diamond or gold medals because they're not as reliable, according to their feedback. So we're going to go over here. Hmm. This is too expensive when I have the same exact product over here for a solid, what is that? Anywhere from 4 to $7 less, depending on which one you get. So we're going to go with these right here because I like their four diamonds feedback. And now we're going to scroll down. And first things first, we want to check is if they offer e-packet shipping, which can be found right here under shipping and payment, and they do. So the best part about e-packet is it doesn't take a very long time for the product to get to your customer, and it's free or low cost. If you look at something like EMS, you're gonna be spending $20, and boom, there go your profit margins if you're gonna ship that way, which makes absolutely no sense. So uh, if you do want to, you could even go as far as ordering a sample to get in hand yourself to A, see how long the e-pack it takes, which is usually about two to three weeks from uh, what I've tested with uh, some vendors, because if it says 10 to 15 days, it's 10 to 15 business days. So that's gonna be two to three real-time weeks that it's gonna take for the package to get there. And if you wanna check the quality, you know? Uh, I've done this myself because I wanted to make sure that my customer was getting a quality product and not something that's gonna be super cheap and unhappy with because um, I don't want to get a return instantly after selling this product. And we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure that they are the proper vendor for us because price point looks good. They offer e-packet. The feedback looks good from what we can see with the diamonds. And we're going to look over here. They've gotten good feedback, 4.8 out of 5 stars over here. And people are saying the quality looks good. All right. So we're going to go with this one. And now our next step would be to message them. Boom. Okay. So we're going to contact them now. And here we're going to send our vendor a quick message. Hi there. I'd like to feature your product in my store. But I have a few questions first. So first things first, do you provide drop shipping services? Uh, next question would be, is your stock limited? And then another question would be, if their uh, pictures are watermarked, then you're going to want to ask them if they could supply unwatermarked pictures so you could put them in your store because you don't want those uh, watermarked pictures in your Shopify store. It's not going to look very good. So let's say they do have watermarked pictures. I forgot if they were or not. Can you supply photos of the product that are not watermarked? And now you want to make sure that they, number one, can speak good English, write and read good English, so that you can communicate effectively, especially if you're going to be uh, fulfilling orders on a daily basis. So that's another question we're going to be asking. 
Can you fill orders on a daily basis? Which is absolutely huge because you want to be able to have good uh, communication with your vendor, especially on daily basis orders. So you're going to also go on to, uh, let, let's say this vendor does pass all of your tests here. You're going to want to go on and get their kick or maybe their WhatsApp or email address, just a better form of communication overall rather than using uh, AliExpress messaging because it's a bit of a pain in the neck and also you can get them uh, get in contact with them directly. So you're going to see that they speak good English, you could get in good contact with them. And then another question would be is if I have high volume of orders, can you do CSV, sorry, bulk CSV dropshipping? So if you aren't familiar with uh, what bulk CSV uh, documents are, it's either a numbers document or an Excel spreadsheet of all of your orders. So let's say you get a hundred orders in a day. You're not going to go one by one sending this to your vendor and having them ship all of them out. That way you're going to send them a spreadsheet so that they could take care of that and you could send out all your orders in a snap. It's uh, way quicker, super, super easy to do. And it's a very efficient way than sending them one by one because it's 2016. That's what we have at our hands. So after that, you're going to make sure that they pass all these tests. So you're going to press send right down here. And next thing you know, you're going to wait on your vendor to get back to you. And once they do, you're going to make sure that they pass all these tests. And next thing you know, you could have the perfect product for your Shopify store and know that you have a reliable vendor. So now I really hope you guys enjoyed this and you are really sure how to go about asking your uh, your possible vendor any questions that you have. Now, if you have any other questions or if you are still unsure on certain parts of setting up drop shipping with a vendor on AliExpress, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon.